<coughs> All right, I'm back. Got some pizza in my tum tum, and holy shit, I gotta say, that was some of the best fucking pizza I ever had. Oh, it's okay. Sorry for machine gunning you with the questions. Was just kind of curious. Well, you might find some inf additional information that booklet Miyamoto-san gave you. If you want to know more about the details, you should ask Miyamoto-san. She will be able to. Oh, who the hell is this? <laughs> what fucking voice do I give this? Yeah. I'm just a new surfer. I wonder if that's for shadowing suffocation. Q Q Q Q Q. Your souls are now Mika's. A Q Q Q Q Q. Tamashi san, don't scare us. Don't scare us like that. So, seriously? That ain't funny, girl! You almost gave me a heart attack, Babu! Hey, Babu, you almost gave me a heart attack. Sorry for stamping you. You all right? Yes, just feeling a little squishy. A Q Q Q Q. Did Mika give you a good scare? Did she fucking refer to herself in the third person? What the fuck? Oh, you sure did. Where the heck did you even come from? M Mika just came from the toilet. When she saw you, you had thought to herself. They will make for some easy targets. I was taking an epic shit. Whoa! A Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q. All right. I also dislike perverts. Also, I just realized this is in like the 90s, or maybe, oh no, it is set in the early 2000s. <clears throat> yep. Piss moment? Epic piss moment? What's the matter? Did Mika scare Raiko so much she lost her voice? Not really. Who? Is that true? Next time you want to sneak up on someone, try matching your footsteps to your victims. Once I noticed a quick pair of extra footsteps behind us, you lost every chance to struggle me. Q! Mika didn't expect anything less from Raiko. However! Mark Mika's words. Tonight will be the night Mika will show Raiko what true terror is. Mika will shock Raiko and make her cry out in torment and despair! Ah, Q, 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 Q! I gladly accept your challenge. Aku! Um, a 
Excuse me, but do you mind sorting this out later, Shinpuku-san, Tamashi-san? We really shouldn't keep the others waiting any longer than necessary. Okay. Eku! Good, good. Alright, then please follow me. So her goal is like specifically to make Akiko Raiko piss herself. Is this an epic? Is this an epic piss moment? I feel like this might be an epic piss moment. Like this is just the self-insert of the music composer. Oh, also I do like they have that they have like alive or dead status. Status alive. Some pretty cool fucking decorations, I gotta say. Whoa! Oh my god! Fucking hell! Fucking god, this dialogue. The, this. This is. This is freaking awesome! I'm glad to hear you like it. Please be sure to let Miyamoto-san know as well. She was working tirelessly to prepare all of this in time. I totally will! Dang, this is so cool, don't you think, Raiko-chan? It is. Oh! Hey there! I hope, I ho hopefully this, these four get murdered quick. So I don't really have so many voices. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Fuck. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Yo, Momo Chan. What's up? And happy Halloween to you too. Hey, hi. Fuck. You know, what? I'm just gonna not read this one. You're wearing the same outfit as Runa. So you're playing her twin sis, huh? Yep. His sister is interesting, right? I didn't really know what else to dress up as, so it was fine with me. I have a soft spot for kimonos anyway. Hi, hi. Your luck. Your luck. That's my voice.
that foreshadowing? I bet she had a sister who died? What do you say? We put a lot of effort into these costumes. Indeed. We tried to replicate the kimonos as accurately as possible. It proved to be rather frustrating at times, but I quite enjoyed sullying the fabric with all this blood, hi hi. That's the mirror right there. I'm calling it now. Nice! I think you did an awesome job! Now, if you two had the right hair color, the cosplay would be perfect! Actually, I bought two matching green wigs, but unfortunately forgot them at home. I cannot believe I was so careless. Once again, my deepest apologies, Boris said. Oh, Luna. I told you it's mine! Not worrying about that. It's no biggie. Really? Even if you say that, I cannot help but feel quite ashamed of myself. After all, I was the one who claimed to know where to get the perfect wigs and promised to buy them. This is like... The wig thing is going to be like an aspect in her murder plan, I bet. And then I forgot them at home. She didn't forget them. She did it on purpose, for some reason, as part of a murder plot. I know. Absolutely. Even after you reminded me just this morning not to. It's alright, Runa! Sure, it would have been neat to have them, but it's fine, really. Yeah, you two still look majorly awesome. And real friggin' cute! Oh ho 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 ho! <laughs> of course. Night Peach always looks cute, no matter what she's wearing. And super sexy, too. Hero, hero! Stop it! I told you not to say such weird things in front of the others! Why not? It's the truth. It's embarrassing! Oh, how I love it when you blush, my sweetheart. <laughs> ah, you see, they say banana instead of apple because of copyright reasons. That's clever. Sexy and absolutely everything you wear, my dear. Especially when you're blushing. Get coming! Got you too! Threesome? Thruple? They a thruple? You're such a lucky guy, hero! I hope you don't realize you do realize that and won't think about making my little cutie here cry. Making her cry? Yes, by doing something as devious as, I don't know, cheating on her, her or something. Uh, are, are you nuts? Why the heck would I do that? My little peach is everything a guy could dream of. I totally hit the jackpot here. Indeed! Stop it, you two! You're embarrassing me! Ah, oh, poor little Momo! I'm sorry, Tee, but there's no denying the truth, you sexy beast. Get coming. It's <laughs> foreshadowing something. It's just... What's that Snorfest Shampooko doing here? Oh! Oh! Raiko-chan! I didn't even see you there! 
Were you trying to hide behind Mika? Hello. I never expect to see you here, Miss Grumpy. Hey, Gorman. What? It's the truth. She always looks so dead and motionless. I bet she doesn't even know what the word fun means. You probably don't even want to be here, right? Little Miss Grumpy? Surprised as well. But they do sort our little grumpy cat. Huh. I guess so. Those ears sure are cute, but they'd fit my sexy peach a lot better. <laughs> you wrote stop talking about nonsense. Yeah, I know. They'd obviously look best on me. That's not even debatable. But I meant like, if it wasn't for me, you'd rock them harder than anyone else. Oh, you! Anyway, I think it's a funny idea! You look so cute that I can literally hug you to death! Blue. She, she's really ever in cat ears. It is shites. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> fuck! You look out, Riker. Oh my god. What the fuck? Oh my god. What the fuck? Oh my fucking Christ! Please, oh my God! Please be the first one to die! 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 Please be the first one to fucking die! Please, please, for the love of God, be the first one to die! Please! Oh my God! Please! Please, please be the first one to die. Oh my god. I'm. Oh god. Come on, man. Why do they have to make the, this guy fucking bisexual? That's not nice. Oh my god. I swear to god if this character survives, like... I'm not even- I'm not going to grace that character with a voice. They're 14! Oh my god, she's 14. What the fuck? That 
makes me feel a little better. Whatever pervert you stuff you have to say, Mika's there to slash away. Ouch, Mika. I guess he deserves it for that comment, but I'm gonna kill him now. Okay, here's the hot guy. Well, I prefer them, obviously. Please be missing, please. Please, please let the jaw stay dislocated for the rest of the game, please. Also, I'm also not going to give Taiko a voice, at least for now. Not because I, it's a, I don't respect him like I do with Mr. Orange Pervert, but I just, I'm out of voices for now. Orange guy is Jesse. Hey, this guy, Jazzy Mason, eight character. Same goes for you too, Nobara. Hey, I want to get Chanified too! Chanified? Oh, alright. Well, oh, alright. Glad to see you, Nobara Chan. Better? Doing an emo Phillips voice. Yes! Ha ha ha. So, like, where's Raccoon? I thought she'd be with you. It's her party, and now that all the guests are gathered here, she just disappears on us. miyamoto san is just taking care of a few things. She will be here in a couple of minutes. So we're back to waiting again! I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Don't be, Runa! It's not your fault! I'll get a few more stacks. Seems like it'll take a bit longer until we finally get dinner. If you keep eating so many snacks, you'll get that. Momo! Oh, oh, sorry. I meant to see you didn't even. Jesus Christ, Momo! What the fuck? Oh, oh, what? Momo, what the fuck? Really fucked up thing to say. Okay, that's it. <laughs> oh my. Well, it's just like I guess Ann said. It might still be a while until Miyamoto-san returns, so... 
Until then, why don't you take a look around the dining hall, Shinpuku-san? Ekidori-san! Feel free to try some of the snacks we have prepared. As well. However, I would advise you not to eat too much. If we will be having dinner, <coughs> Tomashi-san. You can't eat those. Well, what do you think, Reiko-chan? Want to take a look around? We could also talk to the others and kill some time. Till Ree's here. I don't really want to. Oh, uh, come on! Since we're already here, we might as well talk to him. They're, class they're our classmates after all. We'll try to make the best of it, I suppose. Damn straight! What the fuck? Oh, an investigation sequence. Sure, why not? So it's just like Ace Attorney, basically. Hey, I just noticed! Ain't that spelled wrong? It is. Both words are actually misspelled. First E should use an A in both cases. Weird! You think it's on purpose? Good question. I can see Re not noticing, but Runa should have, so... Actually, uh, actually, actually, I did notice the mistake. Miyamoto-san even asked me if it was spelled correctly, but... Oh, uh, but what? That was after she had already finished it. It took her about three hours to craft this sign, and she looked so proud and happy when it was done. I simply couldn't bring myself to tell her the truth. Oh. It's all my fault. She had already misspelled it on the invitation cards. I should have told her before she started working on this sign. I feel so terrible. Please don't tell her. She would be incredibly embarrassed if she found out. Well, you have to tell her at some point, though. I know. Tomorrow, after everyone's gone. Definitely not tonight. Right, right, gotcha. My lips are sealed, Boo Boo Bear! Thank you very much. Ori. I hope Runa really tells her. I mean, it'd be bad if she never learned how to actually spell Halloween. Could really screw her over in life. Like, imagine she wanted to get a job as a pumpkin carver. Who would hire someone who ain't even got a clue how to spell Halloween? Indeed. Ew, look at its chest! What the hell is that stuff inside there? Its brain? Why would its brain be inside its chest? I don't know. Maybe he ate it? Well, whatever it is, there's blood all over it. This is, like, totally disgusting. Taking the lower pumpkin's expression into account, it must be delicious. I don't know. But it is. What? Wait, wait, you ate that stuff? Yep. Ew. So, uh, how does it taste? It's jerry-flavored. There are those sweets with some jerry sauce poured over them. Seriously? Yep, seriously. Huh. Still looks kind of disgusting. I thought the same when I first saw them. Why did you try him then? Because of Hero. The moment we entered the dining hall, the first thing he did was try to read it, and then they did the whole animal and got it into his mouth. He couldn't believe it, but then he was like, tell me to, tell me to try them. Hmm. What's up? Uh, nah, I'm still gonna pass on him. You're lost. How about you, Rego Zen? No, thanks. Oh, okay. Holy crap, the fuck happened to this fella? And 
what's that stuff coming out of his eye? No idea. That certainly ain't edible, is it? I don't know, but I doubt any sane person would try to eat something like that. If I were you, I'd not try to eat that. Shit tastes like detergent. Bleh. Hi, Ren- Hi, Random Hero! Hi, Random Hero! The fuck was that? I'm not sure. An Okoku doll! An Okiku doll! Mm, how did that urban legend go again? You sure you want me to tell you? Yes! Starts a story about a doll. Dolls ain't scary. Well, if you say so. Don't tell me I didn't warn you, though. Anyway, here goes. The origins of the Okoku doll. Oh, I'm already getting a little spooked. I'm about to piss my pants. I'm about to shit myself, too. Oh, darn, I'm already pissing and shitting. <laughs> Let's be sure the doll's hair kept growing, growing until it reached its knees. I tried cutting it, but it always kept growing back. Parents finally came to the conclusion that the soul of their daughter taking refuge inside her beloved doll. They brought it to a priest who placed it inside his temple, and naturally it took the interest of quite a number of people, including scientists. They didn't want to believe that the soul of a human girl was causing the hair to grow, so they tried finding a scientific explanation. Uh-uh, did, did they find one? They did, right? I mean, there's gotta be a perfectly reasonable reason the doll's hair kept growing, right? Unfortunately, they never found an answer. Whoa, I'm shitting myself even harder right now. Oh, I'm shitting and pissing at the same time. All they concluded for the research was, was what? That the hair on the doll's head was actually real human hair. Oh my God, a huge jettison of piss just sprayed out of me. Oh God, it's all over the fucking place now. In fact, it was a hair of a young girl. No! No, there's a huge... <laughs> Sorry, I should be funny. This joke is fucking stupid. <sighs> oh, dear. But I did warn her. Poor gullible Chan. Like, now that... So it's like, I wonder, if, if I hadn't done that and she ran away, would, uh... The other things have been, uh... Have had her there? Because that's actually pretty cool. A neat detail. Hey, look up there! Oh no, it isn't. You mean the sound above the entrance? Yes! It's got Welcome to Hell and bloody letters on it. Hmm. Something bothering you about it? Isn't the placement kind of weird? How so? Well, uh, if you enter the dining hall, you wouldn't be able to see the sign unless you turn around and look up. But doesn't this sign kind of fail as a welcoming sign? What's the point if you only see it when you leave, not when you enter? I guess you have a point. Maybe it ain't welcoming you, in, welcoming you into the dining hall, but into the corridor? A 
then it'd be saying, hell ain't inside here, but behind them doors you don't go through. That is one thing you do not do. Sin and evil, that's what you'll find. You see two bald-headed devils with butt sex on their minds. They're king and queen of that terrible underboiled. They capture and torment all the pretty sweet young goyles. You can't be serious, Pa. That sounds like heaven, ha! Huh? I think that I will move there, you stupid silly father. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba. And so on, and so on, so forth, so forth. With all them creepy decorations about, the dining hall sure looks a lot more like hell. Oh, of course! I got it. I'm almost afraid to ask, but what did you get? That sign ain't supposed to welcome humans like us into hell. It's supposed to welcome demons into hell. What? Huh? What? Think about it! For a demon that was born and raised in hell, hell naturally would be its home. So, oh my god, I'm sorry. Probably think of the human realm as hell. What? It's just like, you know, vice versa. Okay, I, I do kind of, I'm starting to warm up to this writing, I gotta admit. Sorry about that, got distracted. For us humans, the human world is our home and the demon world is hell. So logically, for the demon world, the demon world must be home and the human world hell. I'm kind of, kind of disturbed by the fact that you just used the word logically in that context. Also, I know I'm repeating myself here, but what? Come on. Come on, work with me here. Let's try this again. The dining hall is all creepily decorated, right? So a demon might feel at home here. But, once it leave into the hallway into the human realm, it'd be in hell. That's why the sign above the door says welcome to hell, you dun- you dunderputs! Don't you think that'll make sense? There's no- there was sense in what you just said? Not? It's pretty plausible to me. Huh, maybe I'll just suck at explaining stuff. Or maybe you're putting too much thought into an awkwardly placed welcome inside. Or that! <laughs> You're just as bored as I am, aren't you? Big fat paper spider stuck to the wall. Mr. 
Miss Grumpy! Want to leave already? Even though the party hasn't even started yet! <coughs> <coughs> Must be real pain for you being stuck with us, child. More hot time! Uh -oh. Well, it is for the best if you just disappear. Jesus, Common, why are you being such a bitch? That way, the rest of us won't have to put up with your corner face the whole time! Got nothing to say! What a surprise! Sometimes I wonder if you can even talk at all. Oh well, whatever. Just try not to drag everybody's mood down. Just stand next to that pumpkin man or something. With your crazy face, you might as well make yourself a little useful dick right through. <laughs> Reference. That's reference to what the booze do in Mario. God, I'm so I'm really fucking laying the autism on thick, aren't I? I am sorry about that. What's written there? Mary. Oh, that's that's her names. What? But we ain't dead yet! Oh, we boobaloo! <laughs> oh, that can't be right! You say we're gonna die here? Not. Tombstone is. <gasps> this ain't funny, man! I, wait a sec! Ain't it missed a couple names? Indeed. Ryan Tycho are missed. So what does that mean? The two of them are gonna murder us? Don't worry. Don't worry, it's just a stupid joke. Easy for you to say, mister, I'm gonna live anyway, and maybe that's because I'm the killer. Hey, hey, I'm definitely not gonna try murdering anyone tonight. And if I kinda should be up to something, I'll put a stop to her mischievous schemes. Like always. Mm, I bet I'll still be suspicious of you. Better safe than sorry! Bubaloo! Uh-huh, fair enough. Anywho, I really wonder why she spared me, though. I mean, it's obvious she wouldn't put herself on the list, but why not me either? Well... I guess she just forgot. Yeah, it's because they're, they're smooching. They want to do the vertical tang at them. Don't take her silly jokes seriously, okay? That's just her kind of humor. I'm still gonna tell her that's going a bit. I'm still gonna tell her that's going a bit too far, though. You know, he's a pretty smart guy, but if after all this time he still hasn't figured out the Rise got a crush on him, I wonder if you ever will. We'll find out tonight. It'll be either cute and heartwarming or super awkward.
I don't like these paper windows. Why not? Because you can't look through them! Thomas! Well, you can see our shadowy silhouettes. So you never know who or what is on the other side. I used to have a sliding door with paper windows for my room. All oh, right, I remember that. I was always scared shitless when Dad came in the evening saying goodnight. The silhouette kind of looked like some disfigured monster or something. <laughs> I do like that face. What the fuck? I gotta use the bathroom real quick. I just gotta take an epic piss. I'm back from doing the number three. That's a piss and a shit and a wink in a tree. Oh, not bunnies. It's locked. You want to take a bath in the hot springs? Hell yeah. I mean, what's the point in coming to a mountain resort with a feature's hot springs if you don't even take a bath in them? I was so looking forward to this. Maybe we can ask Ryder Runa to unlock it for us. That would be impossible, I'm afraid. What you mean it would be impossible? The other day, when we were decorating the dining hall, Miyamoto-san somehow managed to break off the key when locking those doors. What? The blade is still stuck inside the lock. Of course, we tried to get it out, but we're unable to do so. So until the lock space takes care of it, this lock will stay well locked. You've got to be kidding me. Fuck, I keep mixing up the voices. I'm terribly sorry to be inconvenience. Ah, school. 
Not your fault. Oh, it's cool. Not your fault. Still, how the heck does one even manage to accomplish that? Well, this is Miyamoto set we are talking about. Okay, point taken. Hmm, maybe we could, like, force it open? Force it open? W what are you planning to do, Akadori said. I bet she's got murder secrets in that room. Try that if I were you, Barachan. Why not? The wood's pretty thick and strippy. I don't have any human being when I can simply force it open. If you want to smash your shoulder, go ahead. Man, this sucks. Well, we're at a party. We can't just disappear to take a bath anyway. Especially not without asking me first. Oh, why did I even come here then? Separate police. What the fuck is that? Well, this is, it looks like salad, but it ain't salad at all. It is kind of hard. Is this even edible? It's jello. I don't know. Why don't you try it? What? Why me? I already touched it. You have to eat it now. But, 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 Taste that bad. <laughs> my throat! It's burning! But there's wasabi in it! Ugh. <laughs> I guess it's already too late to call an ambulance. Well, what can I say? Never eat a whole handful of something if you don't know what it is. Oh yeah, I can also. I, I also there are other people to talk to. All right. So how are you feeling so far? Okay. I'm all bored though. Yeah, for a party, there sure ain't much partying going on. Well, not much we can do about it. Can't start a party without the host. Bestie, besides, I don't mind it being quiet. Then why are you complaining about it being boring? I'm not complaining. It's just that I can't stop thinking about all the productive activities I could be enjoying right now if only I was home. Oh, sorry. It's all my fault you ended up here against your will. Eh, yeah, it's whatever. I mean, of course I still wish you hadn't let me talk. But no use crying over spilt milk, you know? I just hope the night will go by quickly. Uh, come on, don't be like that. It's gonna be fun. We'll see about that. <sighs> but enough about me. You seem quite excited. Not getting nervous yet? <laughs> A little, maybe. 
Really wonder what Reese got in store for us. Well, it shouldn't matter, right? Oh! Why not? Back home when you came to pick me up, you quite proudly complained that you've prepared yourself and that nothing could phase you now, remember? Oh, yeah, huh? What exactly did you mean by that, anyway? Well, I played a bunch of horror games last night. Huh? All by yourself? Yes! To mentally prepare myself! You even managed to finish them. Well, one of them. Almost. Like, I was halfway through. I think. Okay, I was just half an hour into it, but still! That's been pretty scary, huh? Well, let's just say I wasn't able to sleep after that. So that's why you were so tired. Nevertheless, I'm proud of you for trying it by yourself. <laughs> With some really creepy and disturbing shit. Whoever comes up with that stuff's gotta be some sick fuck. To be honest, the whole time I've been wanting to call you over, but it's already 1 a.m., so... I see. Anyway, I got you here with me now. The unscarable Raikosama. Whatever Rai's trying to scare us with, it won't matter. I'm just glad you're here with me. Thanks again for coming, even though you didn't want me to. <laughs> I'll return the favor, promise. That's yeah, fucking whatever. As long as you're happy, that's all that matters. We're friends. We stay together, right? Yes! <laughs> anyway, let me see what the others are up to, alright? Alright. X page. I guess extra? That's the X page. Honestly, Tabashi san you cannot go around eating the decorations. It looked so yummy, but it tasted like crap. Well, you're only supposed to eat what's inside the pumpkin. You mean the candle? It's edible? Mika didn't know edible candles existed. That's not what I meant. What's going on here? Just Tamashi's, just Tamashi says, usual shenanigans. Anyway, <laughs> is there something I can help you with, Ekadori-san? Shinpuku-san? So, Miko, what exactly are you dressed up as anyway? Nobara can't tell? Nobara can't tell? Mika's the Reaper. Oh, so that's why earlier you said your soul, our souls are yours, huh? <laughs> Mika's going to scare you to death and collect your souls. You know something, I always wanted to ask you. Or ask you, why do you enjoy scaring others and playing pranks on them so much anyway? Why wouldn't Mika? Well, uh... It's, it's fun! <laughs> well, I guess so. But you tend to go to such great lengths just to scare someone. Like how you stuck at a school the other night just to build that weird mechanism device thingy that fired a piece of chalk at Kenji's face when he opened his desk the next morning. <laughs> Ain't that a bit too much work? I wonder if it's really worth the effort. Of course it is. Mika will get ice cream after all. What? You see, during his school life, Mika's dad managed to give 107 students such a scare that they wet themselves. If Mika can break that record before she graduates from high school, Mika's dad will buy her ice cream. Mika's Gramps managed to scare the living daylights out of 96, 69 students. And when Mika's dad broke that record, Mika's Gramps bought him a lollipop. Oh, I see. Looks like the scaring people business runs in the family, huh? Thank you. It's a family tradition. Even now, scaring people is the most important thing in Mika's dad's life. So your dad's still scaring people? Thank you. Mika's dad scares a lot of people every day at work. Uh, what's his job then? Playing a ghost in a haunted house or something? Uh. No, Mika's dad is a court judge. You mean like a judge at a tennis court, right? I can imagine I'm trying to scare the spectators. <laughs> no, no. Court like the courtroom. Huh? <laughs> hey. 
anyway, how many people are you scared so far then? 93. Whoa! Already? And you ain't cheating? Mika would never cheat. Mika scared them all fair and square. Only people who wet themselves count. Mika can't scare the sleepers. Dude, why is pissing so important? Why piss? Well, me, well, Mika could, but she isn't allowed to count them twice. You basically have to scare 108 different people to break your dad's record, huh? Thank you. How was your dad checking you ain't lying to him? See that skeleton button on Mika's breast? It's a camera! Mika always has to wear a button camera and film her scare attacks, so Mika's dad... Wait, wait a sec. A camera? Are you telling me that time you scared me like... <laughs> And I peed my pants? You actually taped that and showed it to your fucking dad? Ack you! <laughs> anyway, unfortunately, Mika's camera ran out of juice, so Mika won't be able to film the glorious moment of Raiko's defeat tonight. But, that's no reason not to try. Mika's scare score will definitely go up by one. And everyone here will be Mika's witness. Listen, uh, I, I, I really gotta, I, I, I gotta leave right now. I know this is an awkward place to stop, but I gotta go. All right, see ya, bye.